So you know, Hamim is a close friend. Now when you talk to your close friend that you haven't spoken to in a while, is there a different tone? It is, isn't it? Allah is forcing this da'i to internalize something almost humanly impossible. He is asking the da'i to internalize the guy in front of you is hateful, it's become clear that he's hateful, but to you, you have to pretend that he is your protective, intimate, close buddy, your friend. And then Allah Himself says, وَمَا يُلَقَّاهَا إِلَّا الَّذِينَ صَبَرُوا No, no, no. This is not accomplished by people at all, except people who truly have sabr. Allah recognizes Himself, this ain't for everybody. <laughs> this ain't for you. If, it, if, if you don't have sabr, stay out of da'wah. I'm serious. Da'wah is not for everyone. It's not. If you don't have the patience for this kind of ethic, don't put yourself in that position. You will do more damage than good. وَمَا يُلَقَّاهَا إِلَّا الَّذِينَ صَبَرُوا And then he says, by the way, all of this is so difficult to do. So Allah says, those who can pull this off, وَمَا يُلَقَّاهَا إِلَّا ذُو حَظٍ عَظِيمٍ And who can pull this off? It's this, will, this good patience and this power and this ability to respond with better will never be met with, to en with anyone except people who have incredible fortune. They're really truly fortunate with Allah. Why? Because when Allah gives you more difficult challenges, then the rewards are proportionately higher. So he says, this is for a very, very lucky, very fortunate people who can pull this off, you know? Now he says, In the middle of that heated debate, if shaitan comes and pokes at you, and if he wants you to respond and forget that you're looking at a friend, and you look at him as an enemy, just like he looks you as an enemy, and you get heated yourself, then at that time seek the refuge of Allah. And then he says, إِنَّهُ هُوَ السَّمِيعُ الْعَلِيمُ No, 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 he, he's the one listening, he's the one who knows. In other words, you forget the person in front of you, all you can think of is Allah, because he mentioned himself twice. Look at the power and the perfection and the eloquence of the Qur'an, where a difficult challenge was mentioned, Allah mentioned, إِنَّهُ سَمِيعُ الْعَلِيمُ Where a way more difficult challenge was mentioned, إِنَّهُ هُوَ السَّمِيعُ الْعَلِيمُ Because in that challenge, you have to recognize Allah's presence to back off. You will not be able to back off on your own. There will be something that switches off inside of you. There's a, an animal part of us, the gear that just clicks, and you go into hyper-aggressive mode, and you turn into someone else. The only people who can back off from that are people who recognize Allah's presence. Let me give you a psychological example of that. You're about to get really angry with your younger brother, and your dad walks in. Why you? I'm going to you with you. It happens or no? You recognize your father's presence and you realize, I, oh, wait, wait, I, yeah, yeah, no, no, nothing. What were you saying? No, nothing, nothing, nothing. You understand? When you recognize the authority's presence, something in you changes immediately. You were about to be angry, but you're like, oh, mm, I know I get in trouble if I say anything now. Allah reminds you of Himself at the right moment.